I'm Elizabeth Stevenson, and I'm one of the artists who lives and works at Fish House. Wichita, you know, was, was this adventure that I thought was going to happen, which in the end, it was a great adventure. It just wasn't the adventure I'd sort of, I thought I would meet cowboys and Native Americans, and it would, I mean, I'm terribly naive now I say that, that's totally irrational. But anyway, at the time, I thought it would be sort of an exciting Wild West game. In 1998, my impression was that it was just nothing. Like, I, I didn't find anything. When I decided to stay, I realized I had maxed out my credit card to get here, so I ended up getting a job with Schaefer, Joss, and Cox and Fry. I basically worked there as long as it took to pay off my credit card and then thought that I would uh, head out. And then well, I just started getting more involved in the art community. And there were several really interesting places and I was, it was completely unexpected. I absolutely did not imagine I would find that in the middle of the United States, especially Commerce Street at that point. I mean, it was just Fish House on Commerce Street. And, I came down here, I think, for an exhibition, and, and then the door flew open, and there were lights, and talking, and a bunch of people, like really good-looking people, and with drinks, and like, tons of music, you know, in the background, and, and then it was this art show, and that, that really sealed the deal for me. That was a life-changing experience, I think. So Fishbowl is a nonprofit, and most of the events that Fishbowl produces actually happen at Fish House. So the fish house is owned by the three building owners, Kent Williams, Patrick Daw, and Eric Schmidt. And that is a for-profit endeavor in that the guys sell their work and they have exhibitions. The fish bowl handles community events that need to be fundraised for, need to be organized, need to be administered. So that's why we started the not-for-profit. Well, Open Studios is basically, we're, we're trying to fill empty storefronts with working artist studios. So it gets artists in studios, gets things happening, people are making, people are thinking, and it also fills these empty storefronts temporarily. The artist gets the space for free, and then the property owner is able to enjoy a, an active space where a potential tenant could actually take a peek inside as they're walking by and, and see their own business in the space. When you have empty spaces, it just, it doesn't, it's not exciting, it's not active, it's not viable. And I think I would be very happy if every place was occupied. I feel like we, we really need to understand the economic and cultural value of the arts. And I would love for Wichita to think big. Like, let's make this the Paris of the Midwest. Let's, let's get programs working. Let's, let's have people excited about moving here. Like, why not move to Wichita and get a studio for free with open studios for a while? and really work on your career. Like, why not commit to you instead of thinking that you'll be successful in some abstract fashion if only you could move to Chicago or New York. Like, that's, that's, very, that's very old school, that's very 90s, that's not the way the world works anymore.